everyone. Excuse the wet hair, sorry, just had a shower. Um, this is just a quick clip to show you how I do my um, flame splits. Um, and just a couple of stretches before I do them. Um, so if you want to join in, let's get going. <clears throat> I'll do it, um, the actual trick from a few different angles. So we're just going to start in a lunge. I always like to have a little side to side rock as I push the hips down. Really get oiling those hips up. <laughs> and then I'm going to over grab and give that quad muscle a stretch. Keeping the hips down so don't lift up. Push them down. It's a real good stretch of that quad muscle on the bottom leg. <clears throat> hamstring stretch. And I always like to turn it out to get the stretch down the outside. And keep leaning over. It's good. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So lunge. Do a nice little pipe stretch. Reach in and grabbing those feet. Pull them off the floor if you can. Stay low. Good. Okay, because you're going to be balancing um, on your hands. Let's give those wrists a little stretch. So back the hands into the mat. And all the way around. In the circle. And now what I want you to do is lean over the wrists. circles bring that arm over and the other one circle 
Up and down. Shoulders up and down. Round. Head. Oh. Good. Okay. So one more stretch. Hands to the end of the mat. Push it back. Chest down. So now I'm going to show you the trick, and then I'll talk you through it. Okay. <clears throat> so we're basically balancing the, the um with our elbow pushing into our side and the hand is turned out. So if I'm using my left leg to be the front leg, the split leg, then it'd be my right arm into the tummy, right hand turned out. You can do it without that um, position, like with a lot more strength to be needed. So basically just holding your weight up with no um, shelf, well like the shelf. Um, let just go a little closer so you can see what I mean by that. So it comes right into the side and the hand turns out. So when you lean, your tummy is resting on the elbow. <coughs> the other hand is your balancing hand. So that's just off to the side, turned out. So you put your weight into this one and this one's balancing. The legs are in your lunge position to start and then you need to come under with the shoulder as much as you can. So duck down, push that shoulder under and then push up with the arm and get that hand into position before you set back down. So <clears throat> once you've got this arm under, you also need to get this hand into the right position ready for your tummy to come down onto that elbow once you start spreading out those legs. So now, before I've even lifted, I'm in that um, position where the elbow's into the tummy. So even if I just lift the front leg and leave the back one on, you can start to feel that uh, pressure that you need. And then, as you lean more forward, that back leg will lift. See? Okay, let me do it from the other way. It is quite tough on the wrist, so make sure that you, you know, are comfortable with putting weight on there. You might just want to start by getting into the position and just seeing how it feels for a while and build it up to the leg. Okay, so we're in our lunge. The shoulder comes under. The other elbow sets up, hand facing out. We start to spread out that front leg until we in that shelf position. Front leg lifts, bottom leg, uh, back leg lifts. Sorry, there wasn't a lot of room there. Okay, and one from the front, one from the back. Just so you've seen every single angle. Let me just get this hair. Out of the way. Okay. So, into that lunge, shoulder coming under, hand, fingers spread wide, sort of turned out, with the elbow set up, fingers turned out, fingers um, also wide, front leg starts to stretch it out. It lifts, lean forward, lift that back leg. And really use those uh, leg muscles to stray in the knees, squeeze, and lift. And you can do bent leg, whatever. Okay. Okay, one more time. 
you cheek down if you can't stay up in the air for now um so yeah that's my flying split i hope that helps and um remember to really stretch out those wrists um and work on the shoulder strength and obviously flexibility i hope that helped if you need any more tips then um, comment below <laughs>